<laughs> this is crazy. Your boy Ryan Garcia got my boy Luke Campbell a plus 300, man. How you going to make Luke Campbell a plus 300 against a guy that's an unknown quantity and your boy Ryan Garcia? Listen, I understand the Instagram hoes. I understand that he got a little following, but what has he done in the ring? Luke Campbell was proven. Luke Campbell been in there with the best. He was competitive with I mean, the best. Look, look, just, just tell me one fight that's significant under your boy Ryan Garcia belt, man. Just one fight, man. The kid hasn't done anything, man. Yeah, he's a prospect. Yeah, he's a guy that we're looking at. Yeah, he's a guy that, come on, man, if he can hone in his skills, working with Canelo, doing some different things, he can be the best. I'm not saying that. I like Ryan Garcia, but styles make fights. And like I said before, Morales was putting hands and feet on your boy, Ryan Garcia, man. It all starts from pushing your boy, Ryan Garcia, back, man. Morales is not a man beater. Morales is not a star. Morales understood that he got to push back the little slim dude. You see me? Walk past the jab. He was walking through the jab. He took the left hook, and he was putting paws on that boy. Listen. Luke is a guy that's talented, man. He doesn't do one thing great. He doesn't do that spectacular, you know, one punch knockout, hit you to the body, go upstairs, turn and twist you. But I will say one thing about Luke. He does a lot of things good, right? Good jab, great power, right? Good foot movement, right? Good ring IQ, right? He's been in the ring with the best. He was very highly competitive, right? He understands what the big lights is all about. And I'm telling you, man, he going to upset this cocksucker, man. And I'm tight with the UK fans for not pumping Luke Campbell, for not pumping Luke Campbell, for not moving and shaking with Luke Campbell. So if you rocking with Luke Campbell, put something in the comment section, man. If you rocking with Luke Campbell, go to the next video where we live and you can rock with your boy as I break this thing round by round because at the end of the day, Luke Campbell was here to set an example. And I know people saying, well, Luke going to lose. And once he loses, he going to turn into a gatekeeper. Are you kidding me? He ain't no gatekeeper. First of all, you see me? Because at the end of the day, Ryan Garcia is not a prospect. In everybody's eyes, they telling him like he's the next best thing. Like he's a, you know, a champion without a belt. So, no, if he lose this fight, it's going to be Ryan by robbery. It's no other way Ryan can steal a show. Unless he didn't he's doing some things with Canelo that I just was like that I'm gonna that's gonna surprise me. You know what I mean? And cause I seen them training and looked like they was doing some good work going to the body, showing Ryan how to shoot a jab and slipping and dipping, showing him how to do things, when to do things, and that's a beautiful thing. But can it translate in the big fight? For me, I would have took Ryan Garcia and I would have fought some real journeymen. Implement the new style. See how that works. Then get in a fight with the, with my boy, Luki. You see me? Luke is going to use the jab. He's disciplined. He got great power. And once Ryan Garcia feel that power, he bust that nose, bust that eye, go to the rib case. He going to knock this boy out. I give your boy Ryan Garcia nine rounds. <laughs> nine rounds. And we going to call the fight, man. We live on ESPN Boxing Talk, man. So go to the next video. You're going to see the thing. We live. Come rock with us. Subscribe to the channel. You rocking with the best. <laughs> yeah. New media, new perspective. This is what new media look like. This is what new media look like. Uh, it's all about casual box and talk. <laughs> Just when you thought you had to figure new media, new perspective. Casual box and talk.